Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to edit this image of my daughter in a field that I found next to a Target, actually, out of all places. Um, so it was taken a little bit earlier than I would have liked to in the day. As you know, in the summer hours, it's harder to keep the little ones awake. So we did this probably about three hours before sunset, but I was able to filter the light through the trees, and it lit this field up pretty nicely. Um, but the tones here, they're not very appealing to the eye, so we're going to do some work to that. It's really easy to correct. So this is where we're going to finish, and here is where we're going to start. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is run the Storyville image base. And, and as you can see, um, this became even more saturated, and there's some areas blown out, so we're going to correct that. I don't think we need the color dazzle on for this. We're trying to mute the tones a little bit. Um, I do want to darken the edges, so I'm going to make sure that the light source is over her. Maybe scale it in a little bit and tone it down. There. And then we're going to tone down this brighten up, too. That looks good. Okay, so I think we're done in here. So that's the before and after. Just added a little bit of contrast. So the next thing I'm going to do is run the story of a wheat. And as you can see, even though it's a tad bright right now, it changed the colors dramatically. It took a lot of the yellows out and it just made it really pretty and soft overall. So the first thing I like to do is click on the matte adjustment and Fiddle with that till I kind of like what I see. I normally wipe this off on my subject. So I'm not going to take too much time here, but make sure you zoom in if you're going to print this out or do it for a client. And that looks pretty good to me. I might bump it up just a little bit more. And then next I'm going to take on the highlights. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. Okay, I want to, oops, there we go. We're going to keep the mute yellows as is. That doesn't want to let go. Okay, and I'm probably going to turn this dazzle down. I want to keep a little bit of color here, although it doesn't look terrible without it. We'll just bump it up a little bit, give her a little bit of color. So, and that looks good to me. So easy. Look at that difference. Now we're going to come in here and correct her skin. As you can see, she has some magenta in her hair and we do not want any parts of that. So I'm gonna go into the skin retouch and the color enhance, oh, whoops, color and skin correction and play that. And we're gonna go into the reduced magenta, soft white brush, 100% opacity, and paint that on. that down a little bit. Good. It looks like there's also a little bit of red in her hair, so we're going to reduce that. Okay, that looks good to me. Her skin tones look pretty good, actually, um, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to add a sun flare, so I'm going to copy that and paste it. Um, the screen mode, control T to move it around wherever you'd like. I'm going to place it up here. And that looks good to me. Uh, Gaussian blur. And I like that. Um, I think it looks good overall. I'm going to add a little bit of contrast into her hair. So I'm going to go into the dodge and burn which I have free on the website, guys. Feel free to download that. Soft black brush. I like to do it at 8%. And we're just going to go over some of her features that I want to darken up. I think she's plenty bright. So go over parts of her hair. Doesn't need to be perfect. Um, this part could use a little work. Right there, maybe over the eyes eyebrows okay I 
might copy that layer. Um, if it's not enough and you don't feel like constantly just running through, go ahead and Command J and that will duplicate the layer. Uh, it's a little bit too dark now, but I'm going to adjust and that looks good. Oops, okay. So that's the after or the before and this is the after. I'm gonna zoom out. And overall, I think that looks pretty good. Um, if you want like the light and airy feel for this edit, I might add a little bit more contrast. So I am going to go into Shadows, Midtones, and Highlights and play that. Then I'm going to go into the where is it? Uh, Dark and Midtones. I'm going to crank this all the way up. It's going to come on really strong, but then we'll dial it back. Soft white brush, 100% opacity. I'm going to make it big because I'm going to run over that entire image with this. As you can see, that brought a lot of dimension back, but it's very, very strong. So I'm just going to dial this back, and that looks good to me right there. So we are done here guys super fast super easy um this is the before after before and after you can find these actions at storyvillephotography.com along with the sun flare have a great day guys thanks for watching